Big news on the home front. I, uh, we're having a big party tonight. Maybe a big party. It's just a party. I only assume it will be big. I guess big is a relative term. Um, last night, I played in a poker tournament with this theater company, Theater of Note, that uh, <laughs> I'm kind of affiliated with. I don't do any actual theater with them, but I live in this apartment complex where uh, a bunch of them live. And one of my best friends, he lives next door to me. He's like one of the kind of founding members. I don't think he's a founding member, but he's like on the artistic board. He's been with them for a long time. They had this fundraiser and they did a big poker tournament, 90 people. And uh, I'm gonna show you what it looked like right before we got to this poker tournament. It was us in the car. Here it is. It's like they hope that they just sort of don't worry about getting it. Just enjoy it. Yeah. And you'll glean something from it, and that's what's cool. Hey, dude. I'm recording this. Are oh, you are. The entire evening? No, just until the battery dies, but it's flashing already. So just this. Oh, shit. Are you guys fucking? Are you guys fucking pumped? Pre-party pumped. Are you gonna play poker? I'm not playing poker. Okay. I can't deal with losing money. I'm pumped. What's um? Both my buttons. You did. Nice tuxedo. Thanks. What this? Apparently they're stuffed mushrooms. A night picks. I wonder if that means that we can't see the color. There, and I can get the sweet color of blue. Delightful. Powder blue tuxedo, 1973. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think this is a good. This is all I needed to get. I plan on winning this poker tournament. It has to be somebody in our complex who wins so that we can come over and watch the awards. It's pretty crazy. We were excited. And uh, the craziest part is that I won the tournament. I won. I won the whole tournament. I won a 32-inch Panasonic flat-screen uh, HD TV, $1,300 TV. I don't even watch TV. So I told Kiff, Kiff and I had decided if either one of us win this tournament, I said the, the TV is going to go in your apartment because he's got cable next door. And we watch like The Daily Show and Project Runway and Colbert Report and Adult Swim. And it's amazing and then I won and I mean this is what I think this is where it gets controversial this is where it's not just me telling you about my what happened but what I feel what I think about what happened I think that I won this tournament because I really believed that I was gonna win I when I responded to the evite about it uh, I, I said yes in my comment people always leave comments when they respond to evites my comment was, I am going to win. And I really, it was scary to say it. Like, like you get that feeling in your stomach when you say something that you don't want to believe. Like when, say you don't think you're a good actor. I was doing this with Amanda last night. I said, look at me, tell me that you're an amazing actor. And she said, I, I, it's hard. I don't, I, and I said, I know, I know, I know. That feeling in your stomach that you have to bypass, that feeling that makes, the feeling that makes you wanna wanna not say these things, these positive things, things that you can you, that you can do something out loud. You know, you don't people don't want to say it because as soon as you say it, as soon as you manifest it in reality, it becomes real, and it becomes that's it, real. You create your reality. You can do anything. I can do anything. I I, I believed that I was going to win that tournament. And I did. And the last, it got down to the last two people. It was me and this guy, Nick. <clears throat> He's a professional poker player, apparently. I didn't know he had just mounds of chips. He beat, had me out like three to one. He had more, like three times as many chips as I did. But he, man, he was afraid. He was not focused. His mind was thinking about something other than what was going on. Amanda's putting stuff away. It's just obnoxiously loud. But. I'm getting everything ready for the party while Ian does YouTube. I've been doing it's stuff she, for the party all right. day. She's right. She's getting it ready. Well, I worked all day. And he's doing YouTube. I worked all day and all day yesterday. And I'm sick. Give a guy a break. Would you? Hey, can I get a cookie? You can reach your arm over and get one. Well, I was just asking if I could have one. 
as though she may say no. Um, so it was me and him. And I was just, I was so in the moment, just taking in everything that was going on around me. Like, just experiencing. You know, I wasn't thinking about the past. I wasn't thinking about the future. I wasn't worried about prizes or money or any of that. I wasn't thinking about all the, the mistakes that I made throughout the game, although I admitted that I did make mistakes. You can't, you can't live in those mistakes or you're, you're just going to get distracted and lose. So I was totally in it. I was just watching him. And the final table, I couldn't see him as we were playing the final eight. So all the people got knocked out and then it was just down to me and him and I couldn't really see him because the dealer was between us. So I was like, hey, can I move around? And the dealer said, yeah, if you want to. So I got up and I moved around like right across from Nick and he had just the stack of chips but I just wanted to get in his face, you know? That's how you win poker. You just watch someone. You listen to them. And I knew he was... I knew when he was lying. I knew when he was not confident. I could just sense it. And I put him out on a, a jack six. I put him all in. Um, I went all in, and he matched it. And I, I got this huge lead, and then I just put him out in the next, like, in the next two hands. Unbelievable. I love, and I've never played a poker tournament before, but it's just about listening. You could play poker a million times, but when you really focus, you don't need to practice. You already know how to do it with anything in life, you know? I think I could probably be a really good dancer. It's just about like letting go of all that, all the stuff that's telling you that you can't be. Um, I'm really excited about it. I wanted to share it with everybody because I'm pumped to watch uh, Project Runway and The Daily Show and Colbert Report on this huge TV. See you later.